Well, we've all heard of Neiman Marcus, the store, but have you ever heard of Stanley Marcus, the person who once ran the company his family founded? He was a friend of President John F. Kennedy, who, of course, was assassinated 60 years ago today. Andrea Lucia sharing the story now of the warning from Marcus to the president that he felt Dallas held the potential for violence. At SMU's DeGoyer Library, you could find Stanley Marcus's collection of personal letters, news clippings, and the photographs signed by former presidents. It's a fascinating collection. Ann Peterson, the library's curator of photographs, says the one-time head of Neiman Marcus was a prolific writer. He had a policy that if anyone wrote to him, he would answer. So that was a lot of correspondence going in and out. And on the yes. other hand, really just anybody who would write him. Anyone. Marcus was also a vocal Democrat when it was unpopular to be one here in Dallas. Some people took away their Neiman Marcus charge counts and he got some nasty correspondence, but he kept on. In October of 1963, Marcus hosted UN Ambassador Adelaide Stevenson. There were hecklers, people screaming and yelling in the crowd. Someone spit on Stevenson. One woman hit him over the head with a placard. Marcus spoke about the incident in an oral history for the Sixth Floor Museum. I remember pushing him into the car. The car was surrounded by people. I got in, closed it, locked the door, and they started rocking the car. And for a minute or two, I thought we were going to be turned over. Marcus, it's often said, urged Kennedy as a result to cancel his plans to come to Dallas. But in a letter following his visit, Stevenson wrote Marcus, I have urged President Kennedy not to delete Dallas from his forthcoming itinerary. One month later, the president was dead. Marcus went on to have the remarks Kennedy had prepared to give in Dallas printed as the unspoken speech. And he bought ad space in the newspaper on New Year's Day for his own letter titled, What's Right with Dallas? Urging residents here to be more tolerant and open-minded. I mean, he doesn't paint it as a perfect city, but he doesn't want it to be known as a city of hate. His collected papers capture a pivotal time in Dallas history. It's politics, it's fashion, and it's reputation. But the more I work with the Marcus collection, the more facets it has. In Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS News, Texas.